is up guys welcome to the vlog and to Komodo Island in Indonesia and welcome to our boat <laughs> we're on a boat for the next two days a boat that looks kind of like that boat right there I'm with like seven or eight other people and we'll be putting around the islands checking out Komodo dragons going to beaches snorkeling doing all kinds of fun stuff and it is my birthday in a couple days I'm turning 31 which is crazy so I think the next couple days is gonna be amazing and of course I'm gonna bring you guys along for all of it. We spent the remainder of day one sailing out to sea, giving us a small taste of what we were in for the next few days. The air was fresh, the water was blue, and it felt like we were in for quite the adventure. The next morning we woke up at 6 a.m. to catch an incredible sunrise, eat a little breakfast, and then sail to our first destination. Good morning, boat buddies. How's everyone doing? Whee! Good, ready for adventures today? Yeah. Excellent. All right, good morning, guys. It's like 7 a.m. and we've woken up to do a early morning sunrise hike. And that's how we're gonna start our day today. There's beach deer. There's deer on this island. How'd they get here? Now, some would argue that 7 a.m. is too early for a hike, but as we climbed higher and higher, that thought was quickly silenced. Is that Chris out there? Yeah, it's Chris. <laughs> Just way out there all by himself. Yeah, I'm surprised they let him out there. After about 20 minutes, we had conquered the mountain, and as a reward, we're treated to a spectacular view, including a look at our next destination, the famous Pink Sand Beach. Can you confirm you saw a shark today? I saw a shark today. How big? Give me like an arm's length. Maybe two meters. Like what kind of shark are we talking here? Long skinny kind. All right. Woo. Any last words? Captain. Uh, <laughs> Give me a flip. Yeah. Whoa. Alright guys, welcome to Komodo Island and I'm really actually curious to see how this whole thing works because there's a, you know, Komodo dragons on here but I'm not sure if it's like a safari thing where they have a guide or if we just walk around and find them. No idea. So this stick is to protect us. The magic stick for you. Have you ever had to defend? Oh, yeah, is it that time of year? They look kind of beat up. Yeah, okay. Holy cow! Whoa! That's quite big. Hey, look at that tongue. So maybe you can give your hand to take the pig. 90 kilograms. Damn, so he's like two he's like two hundred pounds. And his name is Hercules? Oh, Hercules. Wow. Round of applause. Round of applause. Hey. As we left Komodo Island and lizards that can only be described as modern day dinosaurs. We headed back to the sea for a little downtime. We sailed between the endless small islands, free from Wi-Fi, work, and the worries of the modern world. Little did we know, 
our next destination would have us trading giants of the land with a giant of the sea. So I keep thinking this day can't get any better. Manta rays, Komodo dragons, hiking, snorkeling, all the things. But it does, it keeps getting better. Cause right now we're on, or I'm on, my own little private island here. What? Good morning guys, boat life, day number two. It's been just an amazing trip. Last night we were up watching the stars and probably one of the brightest night skies I've ever seen. The moon literally was lighting up the entire ocean and we can see stars and planets and satellites going by. It was incredible. Our final day on the boat was a day of relaxation. We took early morning swims, watched the Seahawks catch fish, played a little cards, and overall, just relaxed. The day culminated with us going to a small island where I took a very long nap before jumping in the water for one final snorkel session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was so much fun. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, little cabin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See you. Good to see you too. Guys, we're gonna end it right where we started it on the airport tarmac. It's been an incredible last couple of days. So much fun. Um, but that's how I'm gonna end it. So like, subscribe, do all the things. Alright, peace.